In this video, we will learn how to start and stop the G100 inverter. Starting methods include ACC and DC start, and stopping methods include DEC, DC break, free run, and power braking. The ACC starting method is the most basic start method. If there are no extra settings applied, inverter accelerates to the target frequency by utilizing the set acceleration time when given the operation command. In the DC start starting method, it accelerates after the DC voltage is applied to the motor. Deceleration stop method is the most basic stop method. If no specific function is selected, inverter decelerates from the running condition down to 0 Hz and stops by utilizing the set deceleration time when given the stop command. DC brake stopping method can be used when there is a need to stop the motor by applying a DC voltage at the set frequency during deceleration. Free run stop method is a function that blocks the inverter output when the run command is turned off. It decelerates by its own inertia. The power braking stop method controls the deceleration gradient level and reaccelerates the motor, if needed, in order to reduce the regenerative energy when the inverter DC voltage rises above a certain level. Power braking can be used when short deceleration times are needed without brake resistors or when optimum deceleration is needed without causing an overvoltage fault trip. The starting and stopping methods can be set according to the characteristics of loads that use mechanical brakes such as fans, pumps, lifts, and elevators. Let's learn how to program the start method. The ACC starting method is the most basic start method. If there are no extra settings applied, inverter accelerates to the target frequency by utilizing the set acceleration time when given the operation command. Select 0 ACC in the AD7 start mode. In DC start start method, it supplies a DC voltage for a set amount of time to provide DC braking before an inverter starts to accelerate a motor. If the motor continues to rotate due to its inertia, DC braking will stop the motor, allowing the motor to accelerate from a stopped condition. DC braking can also be used with a mechanical brake connected to a motor shaft when a constant torque load is required after the mechanical brake is released. The DC braking amount of DC injection level can be set based on the motor rated current and must be set within the inverter rated current. Select 1 DC start in AD7 start mode. When DC start is selected, DC start time of AD12 and DC injection level AD13 will appear in the menu. At the DC start time of AD12, press the Enter key to set the time using the arrow keys. The time setting can be set from 0 to 60 seconds depending on the application. Press the Enter key at the DC injection level at AD13 and set the amount of DC applied. After setting the level using the arrow keys, press the Enter key to save it. Amount of DC applied needs to be set depending on the application. It could be set from 0% to 200%. Let's see how to program the stop method. Deceleration stop method is the most basic stop method. If no specific function is selected, inverter decelerates from the running condition down to 0 Hz 
and stops by utilizing the set deceleration time when given the stop command. Let's program DEC stop using the keypad. You can set the stop method by pressing the enter key in AD8 stop mode. After moving to 0 DEC, press the enter key to complete the setting. In the case of a high-speed spindle motor, it is possible for the spindle to move by its inertia even after it is given a stop command. DC brake stop method completely stops the motor by applying DC braking. Set 1 DC brake in AD8 stop mode. When the frequency set in AD17 DC brake frequency reaches the corresponding frequency level during deceleration, DC voltage is applied to the motor to stop it. AD14 DC block time is a parameter that sets the time to disable the inverter output before starting DC braking. AD15 DC brake time sets the duration DC voltage applied to the motor. AD16 DC brake level can be set by adjusting the DC braking amount based on the motor rated current. Let's see how to program DC brake stop method by using the keypad. Press the Enter key in AD8 stop mode. A screen for setting the stop method appears. If you move the cursor to number 1 DC brake and press the Enter key, parameters related to DC brake will appear. If you press the Enter key at AD14 DC block time, a screen for setting the time appears. Set the time using the arrow keys and press the Enter key to complete the setting. The inverter output cutoff time can be set from 0 to 60 seconds, depending on the application. Press the Enter key at AD15 DC break time. A screen for setting the time appears. Set the time by using the arrow keys and press the Enter key to complete the setting. The DC voltage supply time can be set from 0 to 60 seconds, depending on the application. If you press the Enter key at AD16 DC brake level, a screen to set the amount of DC braking appears. Use the direction keys to set the level and press the Enter key to complete the setting. Braking amount can be set from 0 to 200%, depending on the application. Press the Enter key at AD17 DC brake frequency. A screen for setting the frequency appears. Use the direction keys to set and press the Enter key to complete the setting. DC braking start frequency can be set from 0 to 60 Hz depending on the application. The free run stop method is a function that disables the inverter output when the operation command is turned off. Even if the inverter output is cut off, the motor's load inertia is large enough for the motor to continue spinning, and it may rotate for a long time when it is operating at high speed. The free run stop function cuts off the inverter output when it stops, and the load stops due to residual inertia. When free run stop is used, the regenerative energy of the motor is blocked from entering the inverter so the overvoltage trip does not occur. Let's see how to program free run stop by using keypad. Press the enter key in AD8 stop mode. A screen for setting the stop method appears. 
use the arrow keys to move the cursor to number 2 free run, and press the enter key to complete the free run function setting. In the power braking stop method, when the DC voltage of the inverter rises above a certain level due to the regenerative energy of the motor, a control is made to either adjust the deceleration gradient level or reaccelerate the motor in order to reduce the regenerated energy. It can be set and used when a short deceleration time is required without any braking resistor or braking unit. The deceleration time may be longer than the stop method by set deceleration time. When using it for a load with frequent deceleration, be careful as damage may occur due to motor overheating. Let's see how to set the stop method after DC braking with the keypad. Press the Enter key in AD8 stop mode. A screen to set the stop method appears. Use the arrow keys to move to fourth power braking and press the Enter key to complete the power braking setting. We have learned how to start and stop G100. Thank you.